Oh no, the blade came out. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> what? Hello, all y'all. It is time for Kitchen Counters. Um, well, like the, yeah, Kitchen Counters, the framing, but yeah, the counter. <laughs> so first I'm going to make this large section right here. A few things to note. <clears throat> Number one, this is not the height of my counters. I'm tall, I love to cook, and this is normal counter height. I purposely put this bottom framing at this height because uh, my counters, the top piece, is going to be a little bit over two inches higher. Um, that's precisely how I want it. A few other things to note, it will extend over this end by six inches because I'm doing three bar stools here. Um, also, <coughs> there will be a cutout right here in the counter and my trash can will be underneath. Um, right here will be a chopping block. Just this whole piece of counter will be a big, thick piece of chopping block. I want to be able to put my, my scraps directly into the trash. Also, uh, there will be a couple inches of storage right here for things like my induction uh, cooktop, or not cooktop, but my induction plates, um, some other dishes and things. It also, so the hinges are up there. It will lift up. It'll have a latch so it'll stay up. I can pull my trash can out. Um, so let's measure and get started. Let's go cut some wood. I'm gonna get it laid out. I think I also need some small cross pieces, but I'm gonna have to get it laid out first because I'm not totally sure. Because as usual, doing this Jeffrey style. As is often the case with Jeffrey style, uh, <laughs> I made a slight error, no big deal. I just need to take, uh, I believe three inches, I'm gonna double check. I just need to take a little bit more off of the inside cross pieces. Not a big deal, that's what happens when you only sort of know what you're doing. So not a big deal, I just need to take three inches off of all of these bad boys. I'm not gonna haul the camera out there, you know what it looks like when I cut wood. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, I did it. Let's put this together. So the framing thing is like the, that part of it's done. So let's uh... cool. All right. So this is it. Awesome. Cool. Can you see it? <laughs> So, eventually this will go like this. Ooh, not like that, but you get it? You get what I'm, you're picking up what I'm throwing down, I think, hopefully. Um, awesome, cool. Okay, so now we need to cut 
the piece for the top. So let's measure and go do that. the beginnings of this countertop piece. Um, yeah, so if you're sitting on the sofa, there it is. So it's high, that's how I wanted it. I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so much countertop space. I'm so excited. I love to cook, I cook a ton. So it was really important to me that I had an awesome place to cook. So, um, it's been a long day. I'm gonna take a break, and uh, I mean an overnight break. <laughs> we, tomorrow, are going to do the same thing I just did, but with this one, where all this crap is currently sitting. And we're also going to, uh, hopefully, if I get to it tomorrow, cut out the holes for the trash can, which goes right here, and also for the sink, which goes right back there in that corner under all that stuff. <laughs> so I'll see you in the morning. It's been a full day. Okay, it's tomorrow. We have this piece of countertop, but, um, well, two things. Um, First and foremost, I uh, I messed up. <laughs> Not big, but I do have to make a slight adjustment. So, so this top has to come off. This is precisely why I have not yet attached the top. Ugh. I'm a man. Leroy right moved. <laughs> mistakenly um, I knew better but I put this piece right here in and on this end this piece does not go in it has to be taken out and instead I'm gonna do two short pieces here why because my trash can goes here it goes underneath I'm doing like an under mount if that's a thing trash can uh, I mean it is a thing I just don't know what you call it so the short story is this has to come out. I'm gonna just chop this down so that we have two supports going that way. Um, so it's not a big deal, but I've gotta take care of it. So let's take care of it. Okay, it's out. So I just need to measure what these cross pieces need to be, which is 17 and three quarters. And three quarter. Okay, so I need two 17 and three quarter inch pieces. So I'm going to go and chop those. By chop them, I just mean cut them. I'll be right back. I okay. I have two 17 and three quarter inch pieces. So uh, let's move this around just so I can get to it easily. So one's going there. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh no. What? I think I measured incorrectly. Dag Nabbit. How the heck did that, no. It's 17 and three quarters. Oh, I think I grabbed the wrong pieces of wood from the pile. These aren't 17 and three quarters. Okay, I grabbed the wrong pieces of wood. 
<laughs> uh, I'll be back again. Okay, I got the right pieces, I think. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Well, I mean, it wasn't that scary, but it was annoying. But I got it. So let's get these drilled up in her. That is fixed. Um, so now I just need to figure out. Hmm. So I need to figure out how to cut out this hole for the uh, trash can because the trash can is going. Right. Um, right here. Um, so there will be a cutout in the countertop. So my chopping block, I can just directly shove stuff into my trash can. It'll just be a hole in the countertop. Um, but let's figure out how to do that. Yeah, let's figure that out. <laughs> super well secured that is ready to go um, but first we have to cut out the hole for the trash can so let's do that not totally sure how to do that but we're gonna figure it out <laughs> okay so I have my my square uh, for my trash can I have it cut out or well uh, not cut out I have it traced out so first I'm going to drill a big a hole for my jigsaw blade to go down into uh, and then we'll address the jigsaw I've never used a jigsaw before <laughs> I borrowed my cousin's jigsaw we're going to figure out together how to use a jigsaw but before I can use the jigsaw I have to drill a starter hole I think so I'm gonna do it right here. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, that was really, really easy. Okay, yeah, okay, I've got a starter hole. I don't know, guys. Let's, um,. Let's go on this adventure together. So I got some new blades. My cousin said it needed a new blade. <clears throat> this is a jigsaw, I guess. <laughs> no, it is. It's a jigsaw. Um, so I wonder how we change the blade. The blade actually looks okay. The blade looks okay. I'm going to give this blade a try. Um, I'm going to plug it in. If this blade is a no-go, we'll change it. I can do that. That's not a big deal. I don't think. I don't know. I've never done it before. <laughs> but I bet it's not a big deal. <coughs> okay, so sticking this guy. Well, first, let's find out. Whoa! Whoa! Holy moly, that moves right along. What does this do, I wonder? I don't know. Okay. 
So we're gonna stick that in the hole. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. But I think I want to drill a hole in each corner because it's definitely going to make this curve easier. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah. Okay. So let's, uh, here we go. Let's keep on keeping on. get a screwdriver change out this blade whoops I just have to be industrious I unplugged this first so if you're doing this that's I think pretty sure that's smart <laughs> I think that's a good idea so all right well I don't know what happened to the piece it's not in here so I don't know let's open this up I have some new blades. They are the right blades, yes. They are the right blades. They're intense blades, though. And you guys, um, hopefully you all know why I like camping. It's because it's intense. <laughs> uh, if that joke ever gets old, just shoot me, y'all. I meant old for me. I know it's old for all y'all. Okay, there we go. I think that's how it goes. I don't know, guys. I honestly do not. I do not know. Well, no, it doesn't fit. Oh, yeah, it does. Does it? I don't know guys, this is weird. Oh, okay, yes, it does, I get it. I get it. If I have this wine key, or I'd just be up a creek without a what paddle okay yeah that's in there good and I bought a good blade you know I'm not trying to I'm not trying to buy cheap blades up in here and I can already tell it feels good it feels really good okay so Whoa, whoa. Let's plug this in. We're almost done. We just got one and a half sides to do, and then I think we are ready for concrete. What? You heard me. Yeah, all right. Here we go.
y'all. You see this hole? It's gonna be for my trash. Yes. Okay, so it is, uh, it done went and been framed out. Uh, I've got the top on. I have this in place. Um, I will also have an outlet in here that will be like, you know, sunken, it will be flush with the countertop, but I don't know the dimensions for that yet. So I need to get the dimensions for that. I also, I'm going to do the same thing that I just did for that countertop to this one right here, which is currently just a piece of plywood <laughs> sitting on here. But the same thing will need to happen with that one and I will have to cut out a hole for the sink. So um, I am done for the day. I will do that tomorrow. And once that is done, we can start doing the concrete treatment. I'm gonna haul these inside into my sister's basement. Uh, I need a constant temperature for the concrete to set correctly. So I'm going to uh, finish that one tomorrow and then hopefully later this week, we will be doing some featherweight lightweight concrete up in her. Oh, hi. I couldn't help but overhear you saying how desperate you were to watch more YouTube videos. Well, you can. Subscribe here. You won't miss a thing. Or watch my film, Once is Enough, right here. Or just click here. Watch another video.